Hello YouTube, this is my little diamond shaped saw for filing the back saws. And we'll show you just a little bit of what the saw teeth look like. There are better videos than what I could ever make how to sharpen these type of saws. But ain't that neat? This is made in Japan, found it on Amazon. You can pause on this if it helps you to find, find out what it is. It's not cheap, 20 some bucks. But, I have $40 or more worth of saws. This one I'm going to try to show you. See that? And, the, and I'm going to try to show you the problem of mine. Mine I took the very top of the tip off. It's not pointing up there no more. It just destroyed it. So, I mean, it could be used for other saws. See this? I hate to take a picture of this. I'll just do this and you can pause. It's not meant just for one type of saw. There's kind of a better picture of that. Okay, we're going to go over here. Let me pause so I can get it to focus and show you some of the damaged teeth I have. Okay, see the diamond dust? Here's a couple I was working on, okay, because they're damaged. Let's go back where the saw is not been destroyed. See that? That's what it's supposed to look like. See the little pointy triangle? Well, I took that off. The only way I believe, and I watch the videos, is you have to sharpen this side, get that point back. And because this is the back of it, because you don't really sharpen this side, that's the flat part of the tooth like here. You know what I mean? Back there is going to be what this looked like. But I did show them, I did see him show them go like this across the top. Can I take the burr off? So I really don't want to make a video on doing this. I really don't. Uh, you know, you, you'd think maybe you could, I don't know, that'd be kind of touchy trying to sharpen that way. I would recommend watching the video, but I'm going to sharpen where I can see this. Let me find some of that really, I mean, some of these are really bad. Look at that. Look at that. See the back of it? See where it's destroyed? There's no point there. See? There's no point left. Let's go back down here to where it was factory. Go back to the handle. See that? That's what they're supposed to look like. A lot better on the back than that. And nice diamond shape. That's what does your cutting with this tip right here. Sure, that's razor sharp right there. And this is sharp here, but that's what does your cutting. You gotta trust me, I'm sure that's some of the better videos is what how they explain it. Quit shaking the camera. You know my battery always low when I start filming a video. But there you go, that's the best I can show you. Let's take a picture of that and then we're out of here. Uh, we're not gonna make a video of how to sharpen these. I just wanted to show you the tool and what the damage I have. Okay, one added little clip. They did show filing this. One guy had like a hacksaw blade cut for a guide. So you do have to file this to get that back because it's gone. Here, get in view. See, you do have you do have to file that. Now I went back here and what I did is I just I'm eyeballing this. I'm picking the angle, right? And then because the saw's already ruined. We're practicing it. And then we're duplicating it up here to get get the thing back. So I thought I'd add that. You know, this is not a saw at the file. I caught that. Let's see if you catch that where I call this a saw. It's hard to do look at the viewfinder. So you do have to go back and go like this. Okay. Get that point back. You know what I mean. We're out of here. And of course you sharpen both sides. You do this side. But not this side as much as this side. This is the cutting side. This side just a square. This side just square it up. We can do this by dropping the camera. So this, this side's more important to be sharper than back here, in my opinion. But you still got to do both. If you look at the two little pictures, I don't like taking a lot of pictures. If you look at the two little pictures here, see, that side, and then kind of that side. I think you see what I mean. Bring you back for one more time for that nice point. I think you could figure it out if I did. 
and I'm not an expert at sharpening any handsaws. I've never sharpened a handsaw in my life. This is the first time I've ever... And to set the teeth on these, I actually watched a guy take a hammer going down the blade. I mean, just look it up. Sharpening Japanese back saws, if you're interested. You'll find some neat videos where they put it in a board. There you go. We're out of here. That's two more minutes added to this video that some people might not even watch to the end.